Today's lesson is conditions for rhombuses, rectangles, and squares. Take a minute to read the learning goal on the scale. See where you are on the scale before we begin the lesson. We can determine whether a parallelogram is a rhombus or a rectangle based on the properties of its diagonals. In theorem 616, if the diagonals of a parallelogram are perpendicular, then the parallelogram is a rhombus. In theorem 617, if one diagonal of a parallelogram bisects a pair of opposite angles, then the parallelogram is also a rhombus. In theorem 618, if the diagonals of a parallelogram are congruent, then the parallelogram is a rectangle. Remember, if a parallelogram is both a rhombus and a rectangle, then it is a square. In example one, we will identify special parallelograms. Can you conclude that a parallelogram is a rhombus, a rectangle, or a square? Explain. In part A, notice that one diagonal bisects the opposite angles, so parallelogram A is a rhombus. In parallelogram B, we can see that the diagonals are congruent and are perpendicular to each other. Congruent diagonals are properties of a rectangle, and perpendicular diagonals are properties of a rhombus. Since this parallelogram is both a rhombus and a rectangle, it is a square. Pause the video and do you try number one. In part A, a parallelogram has angle measures of 20, 160, 20, and 160. Can you conclude that it is a rhombus, a rectangle, or a square? Explain. Let's start by drawing the parallelogram. Since we do not know if all four sides of the parallelogram are congruent, we do not know that this is a rhombus. Since we can tell that both or that all four angles are not 90 degrees, we know it cannot be a rectangular square. So perhaps it is a rhombus, but we're not sure because we don't know about the side lengths. Part B says, suppose the diagonals of a quadrilateral bisect each other. Can you conclude that it is a rhombus, a rectangle, or a square? Explain. Well, no, because the diagonals of all parallelograms bisect each other. So we can tell that the quadrilateral is a parallelogram, but we cannot tell if it is a rhombus, a rectangle, or a square. In example two, we will use the properties of special parallelograms. For what value of x is parallelogram a, b, c, d a rhombus? We know that the diagonals of the rhombus bisect the opposite angles. So angle a, b, d would have to be congruent to angle CBD in order for this to be a rhombus. So let's start by writing the equation 6x minus 2 equals 4x plus 8. We'll subtract 4x from both sides and add 2 to both sides. Now divide both sides by 2 and x equals 5. To check, go ahead and substitute 5 in for x into both expressions. Since 6 times 5 is 30, minus 2 is 28, and 4 times 5 is 20, plus 8 is 28, we can see that our angles are congruent, and therefore x equals 5 in order for the parallelogram ABCD to be a rhombus. Pause the video and do you try number 2. For what value of y is parallelogram DEFG a rectangle? Since we know the diagonals of a rectangle are congruent, and they bisect each other, we know that this segment and this segment are congruent. So let's start by writing the equation 5y plus 3 equals 7y minus 5. Subtract 5y from both sides and add 5 to both sides. And 8 will equal 2y. Divide both sides by 2 and 4 equals y. To check, let's substitute 4 in for y. So 5 times 4 is 20 plus 3 is 23 and 7 times 4 is 28, minus 5 is 23. In example 3, we will use the property of parallelograms. Builders use properties of diagonals to square up rectangular shapes like building frames and playing field boundaries. Suppose you were on the volunteer building team at the right. You are helping to lay out a rectangular patio for a youth center. How can you use the properties of diagonals to locate the four corners? We know that the diagonals of a rectangle are congruent and they bisect each other. So as long as all four of these segments are congruent, the playing field will be a rectangle.
and the ends of the ropes will be the corners of the patio. Pause the video and do U-trend number three. Can you adapt this method slightly to stake off a square play area? Explain. Sure. Remember, the squares are also rectangles, so the properties of the rectangle's diagonals will be the same as the square plus the diagonal property of a rhombus. So in order for this to be a square, we want the diagonals to be congruent, we want them to bisect each other, and they need to be perpendicular. Now is your chance to see how well you understand the lesson. Pause the video and do the lesson check. Be sure to check your answers on the next slide. If you have any questions regarding the lesson check, be sure to ask me in class. If you ace the lesson check, go ahead and try the challenge. Now take another minute to reread the learning goal on the scale. See if you've climbed any higher on the scale since where you were when we began the lesson.